for me, the early days of Valentine's were with my grandma. And it wasn't just me. Grandma had 20 grandchildren. I was one of the oldest, so it probably started with my older brother and I, that once people were out of diapers, she had us to her house for a Valentine's Day party. And it was just wonderful. She'd dress up as the Queen of Hearts or some other costume she'd put together. We'd gather around the dining room table and she'd have crafts for us to do and, it, and all kinds of treats for us to eat and little finger sandwiches that were heart-shaped and little desserts and games for us to play. And it was just so much fun to always be at Grandma's for these special parties she had for the grandchildren. I never thought about it but she was probably giving the parents a night out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> but for us, it was grandma loving on all of us. And now I'm a grandma, so I get to do some things with my grandchildren. I don't have as many close by as she had, but it's really fun to send them cards and to have those that I can see get together with me. And I just encourage people to make it fun for the kids too. And you never know who else you're blessing like my grandma did. <laughs> my most memorable Valentine's Day was after my second husband and I married, he wanted to give me a special Valentine's Day. And he had uh, heard of a special that a five-star hotel downtown in Denver was having. And you got dinner and a rose for the lady and a room and it was quite special. And so he, he booked it for us. Well, he had this habit of getting hit by other cars, so he was in an accident two days before Valentine's Day. So needless to say, our romantic Valentine's Day didn't happen. A month later, he was all better and decided we were gonna to go to that five-star hotel, which would be the good news. The bad news was they no longer honored that Valentine's Day special. They didn't give us a deal on dinner. I found out later it cost several hundred dollars more than what he had intended, but he was determined to do it for me. And we get to the hotel. We didn't have special movie channels or anything on our phone, on our, our um, TV at home, but they had HBO. He started watching a movie <laughs> and fell asleep. And I fell asleep and, and he's sitting there watching the movie and wake up, wake up. So our romantic Valentine's Day didn't happen. <laughs> so what I learned from that is you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to go special places. Just be with the one you love. <laughs> Okay, a Valentine memory. I had to go back a long, long time. Back to my high school days, and I have one particular Valentine um, day in mind when I thought it would be pretty neat to juggle three different uh, high school suitors. And um, I was kind of juggling them and not really letting the others know about the others. And I had one very nice young man show up at my home with a box of chocolates and some roses. And I thought that was pretty special. And he uh, dropped those off and went on his way. And another young man showed up a few minutes after that and came into the house and noticed that there was already some gifts there. And, uh, you know, I was a little embarrassed about that, but you know, you're in high school, so what do you do? So he brought some, uh, I believe it was chocolates and I think even a little necklace or something. Well, and then the doorbell rings and uh, I started to panic a little bit because I had seen the car that had come up in front and it was the third. And at this point, my dad, I think, decided to teach me a lesson in humility. And so he, uh, I uh, went out on the front porch and apparently had a little conversation with the young man and then invited him into the house. And uh, he had also brought, uh, I believe, a bouquet of roses or something. And uh, I had some explaining to do to this particular boy because he was the one that I actually told him that I was his girlfriend. <laughs> so um, my lesson from that, after he went away and he wasn't very happy with me, my dad sat me down <clears throat> and gave me a little lesson in being a little more gracious with my, um, my high school 
boyfriends. And so I look back on that and I actually kind of laugh about that because my dad never let, let me live that down that I was trying to juggle all three and was actually being quite greedy with my love. And I, I never forgot that lesson. But so that's kind of a strange Valentine's story, but I've had a, a lifelong lesson with it. And then my, my penance, I think after that was being a, an elementary school teacher for years and years and years, 20 years. And my current, my, my current husband, my husband has been very generous with Valentine's, but for years my gift was the little printed Valentine's that came in the little box of Scooby-Doo or whatever it happened to be. And those are really my Valentine's most of my life. So. <laughs>